everyone, this is Dave, and I'm playing Rabbids Go Home on the uh, Wii. Uh, that's the original Wii, uh, that is. And this is a weird game that I picked up, because I wanted to give Rabbids a sort of a chance. Um, the only exposure I've had to these weird things uh, is from Mario and Rabbids on the Switch. So, I thought they were pretty funny in that, so I've decided to uh, try them out. And this, and it's, it is funny, it is weird, it is a weird, funny game. Oh, there we go. It worked. But anyway, uh, the aim of the game is, well, the rabbits uh, decide they want to go to the moon. Um, but they can't reach the moon without collecting all this stuff so they can climb up the stuff to the moon. That's it. That's the story. Uh, so you go through different, uh, scenarios in the real world as rabbits collecting just random stuff to take it to the moon. You're so, yeah. Spatty? I'm Barney. <laughs> Our names both start with B. Now that bodes well. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid humor, stupid comedy, um, but I like it. Um, yeah. So, I want to talk briefly about why I'm on YouTube. Um, you know, I started off sometimes... Well, I think it's important that you have to remind yourself why you start... Why you started the whole thing. Like, why... I should speak about myself. Why I started YouTube. Um, the, I started YouTube because I watched Angry Video Game Nerd. And I, uh, because, well, I was going through wh whatever crisis you want to call it uh, when you're 24 or something and you're feeling nostalgic about when you're a kid playing games and you miss your N64 and, and all those times. And so I, I started getting into Angry Video Game Nerd uh, because I was feeling nostalgic about the NES as well. And I had no idea who he was. And he just inspired me that he just made me realize that there are so many games out there that I missed out on, as well as the games that I played that I'm missing, you know, that I'm longing to play again. Um, so that's what started me collecting the consoles that A, I used to have, and, and B, uh, the ones I didn't have. And that I wanted to try out. So now I've got all the PlayStations, except the PlayStation 4. I tried that out. You know, we're, we all know that story by now. Um, but, yeah. So that, that started me on the quest to, like, kind of rekindle my love of uh, just gaming in general. And, and um, getting, getting back into being excited about all the games out there. And there are so many games still that I haven't played um, but what got me into YouTube even when I was watching angry video game nerd I wasn't thinking oh I want to do this I want to review games I want a YouTube channel like this it was nothing like that but I started getting into uh, different people like um, PPG JonTron and from there, I, I saw Jack Films. I know he's not a video game channel, but... You know, you, you just get to know all these different YouTubers. And then, that kind of inspired me to go, hang on. I, maybe I should try it. I know, I've got a few ideas. I'll, I'll do, like, some characters, and maybe I can review it, and I can just be like... I can be just like John Tron sort of thing, and... and <laughs> have millions of subscribers! And uh, so, but I had no idea where to start, right? So I, I just made a, um, just a shitty little video with, of me just talking to the camera about From Russia of Love, the game, on PS2. Uh, hang on, I, I'll just uh, skip to when I, I know how I can figure this out, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I'm back, by the way. I figured out how to get up here anyway. Ah, there we go. So I have to get him up here and uh, lure him up. Oh, I have to lure him to the door, I think. That's, yeah, hang on. 
Yeah, so I, I made a crappy little video about From Russia of Love, a little review that I didn't really write. I just kind of made it up. I, I didn't write a script for it. I just talked to a camera, just like a vlog. There was no gameplay footage. It was just me talking about the game. Um, and I kind of liked it. I kind of liked the style. I kind of like the style. Because it was just me talking, right? It was just me talking about the game. Um, and that's, that's, it took me a while to realize that's what I wanted to uh, keep doing. That, that kind of style of just talking about the game and, and not a character and not, and not trying to be a character, not trying to be funny, not trying to uh, be entertaining. It's just me talking about the game and, and naturally the <clears throat> through editing maybe and uh, or Whatever the humor will just come right um, yeah. It was a it was a mixture of that enjoying enjoying editing enjoying um, Talking about games and enjoying and being excited about how many games there are out there that I haven't even played yet. And there is just so many games. Um, so lately I've been kind of I've been an iron about what my channel's about, but I, I, I don't think there's any rules, you know, there's any rule there's no rules for YouTube. Obviously, I need to keep consistent, and that's my goal for this year is to be consistent with my uploads. And not be like last year, where I was just streaming basically and not really uploading anything. Uh, so I want to make a change for this year at least uh, to get back to uploading more and um, talking about games more because that's what the channel's about, guys. It's about games. And uh, of course, you'll see some Trev, of course, you'll see Content Creator when I get around to it. But, guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys, that's not my priority. Priority is gaming and uh, talking about that. And uh, reviews, so I don't want to pick a reviews because I enjoy doing that. And uh, the boost in subscribers since my last so I don't want to pick a review of, uh, oh shit, of, of uh, ukulele really boosted my confidence and encouraged me to just keep going, just keep going with it. So, really... Uh, uh, yeah, it, but at the same time, I do get kind of down still. I still get kind of burnt out-ish life, real life, more so than doing YouTube. Um, like uh, offline life, I should say. Because, as you might or, or might not know, uh, I lost my car and, and that's... That was a huge blow, to, huge blow to my independence, and uh, it, it feels like at first I was like, "Yeah, whatever." And we are in a location where I don't really miss my car all that much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, the buses are regular enough, and I'm not stranded. I'm right across the road from a supermarket and a pub, even like literally across the road from these things. So it's not like I really need a car. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, <clears throat> I really miss it. I miss being able to go on, hey, I, I feel like going somewhere. I'm going to go somewhere. Thinking about the, uh, the banality of life, really, the, the pointlessness of life in general. I know, that that's escalated quickly. But, um, oh shit, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. All right, I'm back. Uh, yeah. So... It's a, it's a struggle I'm having, but I've got to keep it up. I gotta keep it up. I got, I got to keep consistent. Got to keep you guys, give you content. Oh shit! And I, I, most of all, I've got to keep myself healthy and uh, and and happy, so I can give you quality content. And, you know, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to give you shit content because. You know, I don't feel like doing good con- I don't know, I don't know if we're making sense! I, I need to look after myself. I need to go back to why I started YouTube in the first place. And the reason why... 
is because of my love of entertaining people, making people laugh, having the attention on me. And I've got to be honest with myself, I want more subscribers, I want more views, I want to be the king of YouTube in Australia. And and there's nothing wrong with admitting that, there's nothing arrogant about it. I want to be the king of YouTube in Australia. There's nothing arrogant about it. I want to be the king of YouTube in Australia. Uh, it's, it's good to feel pride, it's good to have ambitions like that. And uh, so please guys, it'd be much appreciated if you could share my content, if you could like my content, and if you could press that little bell if you've subscribed already, just to oh, make sure you can see my videos. Because I have a sneaking suspicion a lot of my subscribers just subscribe but they don't press that bell, and they're missing out on all my uploads. I think I've rambled on enough. What I'm trying to say, guys, is, uh, yeah. Uh... I don't think there's anything wrong with, uh, being proud about, uh, your number of subscribers or, uh, views. I was trying to be overly humble, you know, like... I was trying to avoid being arrogant too much. Yeah, of course you don't want to be too prideful and be blinded by it. But there's nothing wrong with being proud of it and uh, feeling good about your accomplishments and, and what you've done, what you've worked so hard on. And I work a lot on this channel. And, uh, and that's in itself something to be proud of. So guys, Thank you for your support. Thanks to those who do share my videos and like my videos and press the bell. I, I really do appreciate it. And commenting as well helps a lot the activity of my channel. But guys, thank you so much for uh, yeah, putting up with me and my inconsistency for so many years. And uh, for those who have been here since the beginning. Um, don't you worry, guys. Uh, Keeping up the consistency as much as I can. I was trying for daily videos for up until probably two days ago. And I, I just didn't have the time to upload one uh, video that on, on Wednesday, I think. And uh, I was just like, ah. And so I got really hard on myself. And I was like, why am I, why am I putting myself to this standard that, that no one else is doing? Like, no one else is giving me the standard. And I'm feeling bad about myself because I'm putting on this standard that I put on myself. It's absolutely mental. Guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm just rambling. But it feels good to ramble. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all for watching this far in a video. And, um, yeah, and uh, being, being supportive of me for those who have, uh, have stuck around so long. And for those new subscribers, welcome. Welcome. I, I, I will do my very best not to let you guys down. Thank you, guys. Expect a review coming up soon. Thank you. Take care. And bye-bye. I want to be the king of YouTube in Australia. nothing arrogant about it.